Hello, scientific writers. This is video number three in my series of experiments with ChatGPT for scientific writing. And this time I asked ChatGPT to provide me with a set of instructions to write a clinical study report. It didn't do a very good job at this at all. In fact, it did a terrible job. So let's take a look. I asked it to write an instruction manual for writing a phase two clinical study report. Now a clinical study report is something that um, drug developers or other, other researchers doing clinical research are going to write up. It's not the same as the journal article for that study. The clinical study report is going to go to uh, usually to a regulatory body or it's going to be looked at by regulatory agencies. And so I asked it to write an instruction manual for writing a phase two clinical study report. And it gives me this answer. Introduction, methods, results, discussion, conclusion, references, appendices, review and revisions. You know, it's basically told me how to write a lab report for a class or to write a journal article for, for a journal. It's not a clinical study report. And so I said to it, not correct. That answer was for a journal article describing a scientific study, not for a clinical study report. ChatGPT says, I apologize for misunderstanding your question. Here are instructions for writing a phase two clinical study report. Title page. Okay, that's better. Abstract. No, not really. Uh, we're looking for a synopsis on a clinical study report. Introduction, methods, results. Those are not typically how the sections are named in a clinical study report. It's basically giving me the same answer as before, but with a few more steps. So I said, you gave almost the same answer both times. ChatGPT says, I apologize for repeating the same information. You are correct that a phase two clinical study report is different from a journal article describing a scientific study. A phase two clinical study report should include executive summary, study design, results, discussion, conclusion, references, appendices, review and revisions. Okay, so it's a little bit closer, but it's still not very good. You know, it, it clearly doesn't know what a clinical study report looks like. So that's where I stopped on this experiment. Okay, so what were my takeaways from this third experiment in the series? First, chat GPT was not good at giving instructions. Even the output it gave me, like write this section, write this section, write this section. In my opinion, those are not instructions. That's just kind of a, an overview of what goes into, in this case, a journal article, not a clinical study report. Takeaway number two was that ChatGPT didn't know the difference between a publication based on a clinical study and a clinical study report. So it seemed to think that a journal article was a clinical study report, but they're not the same thing. There is overlap in the information that go into the journal article and into the clinical study report, but they're written very differently. They're not the same at all. And the instructions that I got from ChatGPT were for a publication in a journal, not for a clinical study report. So it failed pretty miserably at providing these instructions. All right, I hope that was helpful. I will see you next time and happy writing.